So now that we've talked about the basic idea behind the concept of present value and future value, we're going to take this one step further and talk about another uh, very important and related concept called net present value. We are going to continue to consider the situation where we're still dealing with a one period case. Uh, so let me try and explain that uh, using an example. So let's suppose uh, that you have identified a house uh, that is available for purchase for $280,000 today and uh, let's suppose that you've spoken with your real estate agent and your real estate agent is convinced absolutely certain uh, that you will be able to sell this house for $320,000 so this is this is 100% certainty uh, your real estate agent is absolutely convinced that you can in fact get uh, $320,000 for this house one year from now so the question is uh, should you purchase this house uh, and so we have talked about how you can uh, represent uh, cash flows that are occurring at different points in time using something called a timeline and so a very basic timeline would look something like this here where if zero represents today right so this is uh, this is uh, today uh, and uh, one here represents you know one year from today then essentially the uh, investment prospect that you're considering here is that should you spend uh, $280,000 today um, uh, and with the with the uh, certainty uh, that you will in fact get three hundred and twenty thousand dollars one year from today and what I'm going to do is that I'm, I'm going to represent this two hundred and eighty thousand dollars using a negative sign over here where this negative is representing this that money is going to be going out of your pocket so this is your this is called a cash outflow and this is the cash inflow that you're expecting one year from now now um, a very simplistic way of looking at it would be to say hey uh, you know that's a forty thousand dollar profit right if I sell uh, my house for three twenty thousand for three twenty thousand one year from now and I'm only spending two hundred and eighty thousand dollars uh, that sounds like a good deal because I'll get forty thousand dollars but as we have talked about this uh, in the past you never want to compare a cash flow that is occurring at time period one or in the future with some cash flow that is happening today or at a different point in time because what this simplistic scenario doesn't account for is the opportunity cost so more specifically when you are going to spend $280,000 today, you will be losing out on anything else that you could have done with this $280,000 while you're waiting this one year to get your $320,000. Now you might ask, well, what is it that I could have done? Well, let's uh, solidify that by making an additional assumption that let's suppose that banks right now are paying an annual interest rate of 5%. So now this means that if you did not spend this $280,000 to purchase the house, you could have alternatively uh, invested your money and gotten 5% rate of return in one year so now there are two ways that you can evaluate this as we've talked about it before one is to say you know what uh, what if I had taken this two hundred and eighty thousand dollars and invested it in the bank uh, for one year uh, in that case the future value of this two hundred and eighty thousand dollars one year from now would have been two hundred and eighty thousand dollars into uh, one point zero five which uh, solves out to two hundred and ninety four thousand dollars and so now if you compare this two hundred and ninety four thousand uh, dollars with this three hundred and twenty thousand uh, dollars it seems like a good idea that you should buy this house instead because the next best thing that you could have done is just invested at five percent and only gotten two hundred and ninety four thousand dollars this is one way of doing it the other way of doing it would be to say let me calculate uh, the present value of this three hundred and twenty thousand dollars so in other words how much is this three hundred twenty thousand dollars worth to me today and so this equates to you saying let me take the future value of three hundred and twenty thousand dollars and dividing it by 
zero five and when you do that math you will find that this solves out to three hundred and four thousand seven hundred and sixty one point nine zero so uh, what you're really saying is that look in present value terms this uh, the, uh, the 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 amount that I will I'm getting from selling the house is like uh, getting three hundred and four thousand dollars seven hundred sixty one point nine today that is more than what I am spending today in fact from here you can calculate what is referred to as the net present value the idea behind net present value is you take whatever you're getting in terms of present value from the house and just net out the initial investment of two hundred and eighty thousand dollars and so this basically means that you say look uh, from selling the house in time period one for 320 that is as if uh, today I'm getting three hundred and four thousand seven hundred and sixty one point nine from selling the house and in order to get this amount today I'm spending today two hundred and eighty thousand dollars and so in present value terms the value or the additional amount that I'm getting is basically and if you do this math this comes out twenty four thousand uh, seven hundred and sixty one point nine zero this is still a good investment because it's literally like somebody coming to you and saying hey would you pay two hundred and eighty thousand dollars to me today so and in return I'll give you three hundred and four thousand seven sixty one point nine to you today it's literally as if somebody is saying to you hey buddy do you want twenty four thousand seven sixty one point nine zero today the answer to that is yeah of course right and so this is the idea behind calculating present value and net present value the general rule of thumb is this if the net present value of an investment prospect is coming out to be greater than zero you're basically saying the net of any investment you are making money today even after accounting for the next best thing that you could have done with your money and so that is the essence of present value and net present value in future sessions we're just gonna make this analysis a little bit more complicated by taking maybe multiple cash flows and maybe extending our timeline uh, to multiple time periods.